start objecting, but sure. when you when you do, uh, just give a very brief a little background info because we have two new board members that will have no clue what we're <laughs> really what we're, what we're talking about, and uh, they will I should say they will have they will understand because they live in town and are following it, but not in the same detail that the yeah. rest that have been living there. Just another minute, we'll get started. Six thirty. So we will call to order the meeting of October first for the Rollinsford Select Board. First order of business this evening is going to be hearing a um, report on the one-year warranty for the culvert work from Aaron Chance from Royal Taylor Associates. Okay, come on up. All right. So we have two new board members for you to meet: Denise Knowles and Miles Ingram. Miles, nice to meet you. All right, so we are at the end of our one-year latent defects period or guarantee period for the culverts project. Um, last summer and into fall, uh, the town undertook a project that included replacement of culverts at three locations, uh, Pine Street, Willie Street, and the Lower Mill. Uh, Pine Street and Willie Street were two corrugated metal um, pipe culverts that were replaced with uh, essentially the same size culverts. Um, 30 or 36 inch concrete pipes, and then Lower Mill was a, um, a big upgrade of um, a section of storm drain pipe that the existing pipe was, I think, 15 inches, and that was upgraded to a combination of 36 inch and 30 inch pipe. So that's part of a project that, as the town has funds and, and other sections need to be upgraded, you can continue moving upstream, but that's the outfall of a major section of drainage for really the, the village area. Uh, the other two were just single pipes um, carrying uh, perennial flow underneath those rows, but the lower mill is part of the drainage system. So whenever we have a, a project like this, there is, when we complete the work, we want to make sure that um, while the contract is out there, everything that's under the contract is done for the contract docs. But then once the contract is, is closed out and final payments made, we still have a one-year latent defects period, so if something comes up, uh, that needs to be corrected. That's a, a result of poor workmanship or something the contractor did. That's your you know this one year period to have them come and correct it. Um, it's a contractual obligation. So um, everything looks good out there. I took a look at all three locations before I came to make sure there wasn't something that we need to address or have the contractor address. It was um, Jay Park Granddaughters out of Pittsfield, I believe. Um, it was a challenging project. There were three tough sites for various reasons and. Um, Eventually, in the end, everything came out well, and we had no reason to believe that something would turn up, but you still want to take a look at it. So I looked at the pavement, and, you know, that is in good condition, no appearance of settlement. Uh, all the vegetation is established. There's no signs of erosion. Um, culvert, looking down the culvert barrels, they look, um, from what I can see, straight and true. So um, I talked with George briefly, and I think he shares the same sentiment that everything is looking good out there. Um, so my biggest concern was the, the, the lower mill site. Everything is fine down there. Yeah, so the lower mill site, um, that was a complicated site because the excavation trench ran next to what's called an AUR, an area and use restriction, because there was a, a formal, uh, former leaking underground storage tank there. So there were certain things we had to do with the pipe trench there to prevent water from that formerly contaminated area from flowing down through the pipe trench. That meant using a special material uh, in the backfill that's non permeable basically clay, which is great that water can't flow through it, but it's very hard to pack. It was very hard to install on the pipe, so we said it was a requirement of the contract of the, the permitting, but we knew that what we thought you know, there might be problems down the road because 
was hard to get compaction. So we thought we might have settlement or other issues, and the town was aware of that. It wouldn't necessarily have been the contractor's responsibility. It was something that the detail that we developed, and we said, well, we'll, we'll keep an eye on this if it settles. Some payment shimmy may be necessary, but uh, it looks true and straight. Okay. And it seems to be holding up well. So. Great. Of course. Yeah. Is Park usually not part of this? Is wasn't that part of this package. Before? That was the year before. before mm -hmm. right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. They all seem to blend together. They certainly <laughs> do. It was the, the years of the cold yeah. and We're still not really done, really. But you never really done here. No, it just cycles. <laughs> exactly. We're, we're, we're in, a, in a cycle. Well, that's a good question. Yeah. So what's our uh, what's our next step? Well, I see we did get some forms, but just need to sign. So those forms are from the USDA. The yep. USDA was the uh, they provided a grant or not a grant, I guess it's a loan, a loan for the yep. project. So um, I don't know that Hoyle Tanner, uh, and I should have mentioned that I'm from Hoyle Tanner. Mm -hmm. That's the firm I work with. But we can write a letter that says that um, we've essentially recommend that move forward with closing out the guarantee period if we need to. Okay. Uh, I, I will say I didn't look closely at those. I wanted to get out and, and take a look at the sure. sites first. Okay. And if there's something that we need to sign, we can. Okay. I think it is. It's a... Uh, it's a final inspection. It's a, I certify that I've inspected them, so... Okay. Yeah, we're going to pop it open. Down towards the middle. It's I inspected. I think it's something that USDA did send us, but... Um, Audrey made sure she kept the attachment on every time when we were okay. talking back and forth, so I'm not sure if it's something that was going to be handled on, on your end of the office. Yeah, so I'll talk with Audrey. Audrey Bowlack uh, was the project engineer for this, and um, unless you need this this evening, we'll get this filled out and, and mailed back. And I took the photos, so we'll, okay. I don't know that I need to do a formal report, but if I do, uh, I can vote. I don't, it doesn't, from what I've read here, I don't think you do, but it just it expires on November 1st, so okay. just want to make sure we have that. If there's anything that needs to be followed up, it doesn't sound like this. So, okay. Awesome. Good. No comments from any. I, I know that um, North Country Cider was vocal during construction, but they seem to be happy. And we haven't come up to complain, so. Okay. George, have you heard anything? Uh, I've heard nothing on any of them. Yeah. Well, because they all got tore up around by yeah, them. Yeah. So, <laughs> construction. You understand where. It impacts yeah. people and stuff. Mm -hmm. But we haven't, I mean, we haven't heard anything, George, from you. Yeah, nothing. From you. No complaints on any of those projects. Typically do if people are not happy. So okay, so I guess we're good. Great. So we'll get this filled out and, and mail back, email back. Perfect. Yeah. Um, I don't know what other paperwork is necessary on the. Time I think it's time. just that actually. Uh, okay. We'll double check with USDA, but I think this is the only thing we have left. So. Okay. Besides to pay them back, of course. But yeah. You know. Okay. Great. Uh, so if um, beyond this, if you need anything from us, just let us know. We'll let you know. Yeah, for sure. Okay. We appreciate all of your help. Yeah, absolutely. Great working with you. As always. Yeah. Right, so the next order of business is approval of the minutes of September 24th. Does anyone have any edits? I read them and didn't see anything. I didn't. I didn't have any edits. I read them. Okay. Um, also, you know what? It didn't make it on here, but the, uh, the public hearing. Um, oh. You forwarded them to us. I just don't have it on here. Notice. So. We'll, just, we'll approve them next week then. Yeah, I read those oh, too. Did you, you read them? It on the agenda. Yeah. Okay. We'll just, I didn't put it on the agenda. So we'll oh, even though it's the same date, that's okay. Yeah. I'll, oh. Okay. So they're separate minutes. So, um, so by consensus, we'll adopt the 24th minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, community so, input. Before we do that, I'm just going to start the meeting actually just to acknowledge the passing of one of our residents, um, uh, Peter Mento, who uh, was a vo very vocal um, advocate in town for a number of issues. Um, passed away uh, recently, so I want to send his family our condolences, and uh, it will be missed. Um, next, order of business, community input. Any community input yet this evening? Seeing none, we'll start with the highway department. We're going to skip around a little bit. We need to go into non-public for something to do with building, so we won't make you all leave and then come back in. So just handle it here. You're going to talk to us about your budget. Well, Amongst other things, I'm sure. You're on your POs first? Or?
improved up to five, right? So perfect. Okay. I'd like to get a PO for a thousand dollars to get some crushed gravel back in stock. We used up that four thousand dollars. Okay. The only other stuff. And the PO number would be one four nine two. There is money in the gravel budget for that. So this is for bike industries. The gravel. Probably the smaller of the two. Do it, right. <laughs> um, so what account is it hitting? Again, the gravel budget uh, account number. I'm not. I don't have it in short. Oh, okay. Sorry. All I have is the last three digits, so it's not in here. Four, three, one, two. No, the account number's on. All right. I'll just put gravel. to guys subject for uh, subject tank at the highway. Wow. I'll second it. Um, I'll second it. Yeah, no, no, you are going to say um, I think we have to start creating some kind of maintenance for these things. Uh, I'm sure the fire department hasn't had their pump since it was put in for God's sakes. I don't know. No, they did Wait, recently. You, did they really? Yeah. Okay. Could, but, I mean, we should be having scheduled maintenance. There's a certain... Yeah, I mean, that's, you know, yeah. I, I'm not saying I, I found out that yeah, no. we were hooked into the storage, and I, yeah. I was surprised. And I asked him, the previous, the went building? and built the building last two weeks ago, and he said, I think the tank's over there, but they told us not to worry about having the pumps. I said, well, I believe that's wrong. Yeah. 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 Every two years is a so, average for a house. For a house. I mean, right. I don't I mean, know how only, much usage it is There's only a few but, people there all the time. Right. But, right. It's been nine years. Yeah. 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 Yeah, certainly overdue if it's been 10 years. Yeah. So, so we, I mean, it, it I wasn't don't know what the proper... There wasn't any issue. We're going to fail. Okay. okay. It's good. Yeah. We don't want it to fail. But no, no, we don't. But we do need to make sure that... Um, yeah, that's the only two we on stay on septic, topic. right? Is highway and yeah. fire. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. We should just toggle it and make sure it happens on a routine basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the so fire department did theirs. Sure. I think they had an issue. They did have an yeah, issue. Okay. Last year, the year happened. before, yeah. they had a heck of a time finding where the uh, cap was. So. Wow, well, yeah. so did we. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, but they did, so. Right there. They did. And you did. That's a good mm -hmm. thing. Okay, any other discussion of purchase order 1490? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Four sheets of 
I would for 201.52. Oh, sorry. Second. Second. Any discussion of purchase order 1491? So, what are the four sheets you think will be enough to finish? Yeah, that's the, just to finish up the, uh, the wall for that. Okay. So, Any other questions? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? for those two days? Yes, they expect to be able to, they're going to open it up to rail traffic overnight so it can compact everything in and then re yeah. rework it the next day and pave. So they're hoping to be open by separate time on the 10th, but again, weather permitting. And How's this going to affect C&J? They, their regular buses will fit under the bridge. Okay. The double deck is long, so he's probably going to relocate them.
think they have a limited uh, space enforcement. Yeah. Okay. How does this affect you guys? Can you go into the bridge? We, on all yeah, of your vehicles? Yeah, we're okay. set. Right. My concern is we need a lot of trip away there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know if we can get that done. Yeah. That's why I want to talk to you. Put theirs over there. No, no, but not to, I mean, access. That's why I was, I suggested they open that old crossing temporarily in case they didn't get in and out. Are there any, any buildings that would require a ladder truck over there? Church? <coughs> yeah, multiple. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, that was just, a, I, I mentioned at the railroad, I said, you know, you've got a, an old crossing right up here that could be accessed if it had to be, I mean, temporarily. Where's that? Is that the one right that goes? Down by CJ, by that house, by that house. And it's only a matter of not for a gravel house. There's no other barrier. That house down. Yeah. There's nothing really there. I mean, that would at least get, if they had to get in. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah. emergency, they might be able to get over it, yeah. And that's what he said. They could could put stasis, put ballast in the tracks, and then open it up. Open it up. You know, just gravel. Because they have it there anyways for their tracks. The machines are here right now because they're reworking ties. Right. So whether they go to that stretch, but I, that's why I wanted to talk to them. Might have that conversation. With yeah, Martin I mean, we might be in, but if not, we should we should definitely touch base with them. No, I'll give them a call. Yeah. No. Okay, this is for Coastal Water Body for up to five hundred dollars for front end alignment on chunk two. Let's turn it So I move purchase order one four nine three. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. And the amount of up to $500 uh, to Coastal Truck and Auto Body um, for front end line. I'll second it. Any discussion? Uh, 1493. Uh, any uh, under the discussion of first order 1493? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. You're going to close down the road for two days. Yep. I had a concern. I don't know if you do. Get the ladder truck in there. Ladder truck? If you need a ladder truck in there during this construction, what? Yeah. Sometimes you've got to. Let's see, what's the bridge? 11, 6 under that bridge? On the of course other side? it is 11, right? On the church side? Yeah. Um, at that, I know I can get Dover's ladder truck under there. Okay, I, that was the concern of mine, because I thought it was probably temporarily opening the upper crossing. Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying, right over there by C&J. Yeah. No, I know I, I know Dover's ladder truck would fit under there. That, that, that was a concern so of mine. So good, yeah. Yeah, it's because like, theirs is under 11. I just better hope it's Dover that shows up. <laughs> well, that's who we'll make the call for. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, you know, I don't know exactly what South Burroughs is, but I'm pretty yeah, confident yeah, that might be lower. it would fit under there. I will check on that when but I get you back. You guys will work that out then, but yep. we want to make sure you're aware of it. Uh, yep, I knew they were coming. I will uh, right. I will follow up. and. Well, so they, they email you too? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. I, we didn't get it until after the fact stuff, so. All yeah, right. I, got, yeah. well, I know a couple guys that work for the railroad, so it kind of. <laughs> Would you like to do highway or transfer first? <clears throat> Actually. Oh, you have another one for us? What else do we have? An employment. We have uh, somebody who wants to work Saturday that they transfer. Okay. Here. Have you already read them? Them? Uh, okay. It's Gary Karen, he lives here in town, has lived in town. Oh, yeah, you told us this was coming. Okay. So uh, I don't know what your thoughts are on this. So. You both yeah. interviewed him? You're comfortable mm-hmm. with having him? Yeah, I'm comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. for a long, long yeah. time. Any objections on this other table? Yeah. 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 When I start to work on Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> one of you want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we accept the recommendation of Gary Karen to work at the transfer station. Second it. Any other discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 I get everything Aye. scheduled. All right. Caroline. Perfect. Get it back on checking all that. All right. Well, how do you spell this last name? All right, now we've done that. <clears throat> Highway transfer first. 
fast food transfer, that seems to be the uh, shorter and easier one, right? <laughs> Until we get to hauling, of course. <laughs>
having it say four people gives you the authorization to hire the fourth person. Right. And we can where, where if I don't I don't know what your staff now if they want to work more than four, if they can work they more will. than those hours. They will. I've got, I've got a couple that but will work. I don't know how you feel about that, but it, it's kind of. Right. It's not a problem with me if you want to call it that way. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think if we can frame it in the, the number of hours needed and however many people work to do it, it, it the bottom line should change. Right. right. Yeah, the, yeah, the number should stay the same. Yeah. Is there. Is there a number of hours per week someone can work before they're considered a full-time person? I don't remember what they're like. Yeah, it's 30, 32 hours, I think. Okay, so when we're only 16, so we shouldn't be getting close that to that. Be an issue. Yeah, I don't want to get close to, to that number because I don't want to have anybody kick into a right. different category. Right. And it's not going to be every week anyway. True, so, true. So if you hire the fourth person, then then it would just be when you need them versus right. using the right. people and you have who may want to have the extra right. hours. It would in be my good view. a good backup if someone's out. Yeah. 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 And, if, and if, I mean, I probably won't hire a fourth person, mm -hmm. but I need to have money allocated. So if I want to use one of these three guys to work more in the bailing, which I know we will, for instance, last year we used two of them to do uh, chipping, mm -hmm. but we had a line for chipping. Right. Mm -hmm. I don't have another line for bailing. conditional attendance or bailing or... I think you're better off at trying to sell it, saying it's a three attendance with additional hours because of the okay. additional responsibilities posed on yeah. us because no, of having to go away from single stream back to the old system of... Um, okay. Should we uh, add maybe a line that just says bailing and plug a number into that? Yeah, I think you'd be safe just leaving under attendance and the hours. Okay. I think because... I mean, you could come into a situation where you're fine with bailing and something else comes up that you need them to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so, right. Yeah, keep it open-ended as far as you don't give it a that way, to be okay. honest with you. But the, yeah. note, the note can say to account for bailing. Okay. That's, yeah, I think. I mean, it could accommodate another part-time person if you needed to, but I mean, it's hard enough just to keep uh, yeah. two people there, let yeah. alone four. Where we so. had... We had three as a rule, right? And then, and then we had one part time on Saturday, right? So, okay. so your payroll taxes and all of that have been reflected with the increase of with, hours. Yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 And then I have one employee that has been there quite some time. Yeah. I'd like to give him a little extra money if we could, and that that is reflected into all this. It I'd like give an extra dollar. Mm -hmm. So. And that's where it says off to the right there, called dollars for the senior member. Yes. Yeah. Where do they currently? Eleven. And I keep the other two. Keep the other ones at eleven. And just this is the one that's been there the longest. And to be honest, he's really stepped up to the plate right. um, since everything's happened over there. Mm -hmm. so. All right. So payroll taxes are reflective of the uh, that's supposed to be in that line. That's yeah. fine. Health and safety is remaining the same. Yep. Yeah. How are you on? How are you set on your any of the shots that you need to have as a? I'm set. I think I've got one or two other guys over there. Like, I just see what Gary needs. Paul, I think is up to date. The other Paul, okay. I think is, that's that's a bunch out of this line. So. I know. I'm yeah. sure he has enough. Enough for new staff. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, no, I agree. Yeah. 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 I mean that number is what was inherited from last year. So. I don't think any of that has been spent. Okay. So I'd be well off probably to get that done now. And we started that. Is, and then is whoever. It, what do you get for, do you get the hepatitis B? Yes. Yeah. 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 Right, so that's a, is that still a three shot series? It is. So you might want to start this year if you haven't done anything yeah. yet and then go into the next year. Yep. Okay, so uniform, all cleaning. Uniforms we split off because last year uniforms there was no uniform line in highway. Right. So we've now split this off into high highway pipe. Okay. Yeah. Pipe transfer. Yeah. And everyone the transfer right now has exactly what we're wearing. Okay. So we now have stripes with everybody. They're all identifiable. Good. And uh, that's and they're mandatory, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 They yeah. 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 I only had one person. I had to talk into it, and he came right on board. That's our longest person. He's got them now. We got them. <laughs> Right. Yeah, he loves it. All right. So, yes. All right. Yep. All right. That's
supplies for increasing supply line? What's the uh, the increase is going to be some of the office supplies and whatnot that's needed. Uh, we've got some. There wasn't really an office there. Mm -hmm. It was just kind of scattered. So uh, one thing I could use over there, as opposed to plugging into his all the time, is a really cheap printer for the laptop that the PD gave us. Right. I can buy a printer for about $50 to $100. The ink's more money than the printer's have. Yeah, because yeah. if I'm over there doing, doing my paperwork, I've got the laptop, I have to run back over to the highway and plug in for all day. Last week, we're going to do it in two weeks. Where is your office? There is an office over in the over in the uh, transfer station. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about it. was busy last week. Yeah, that's what we did last week. Is that what you got? So that's primarily where that is, and just to, to beef up some of the some of the office side of it. Also, there's some cleaning supplies and things we can use for around the dumpsters mm -hmm. that help get rid of rodents. And we haven't had any issues, but want to keep it that way. That's good. Um, telephone. Yeah, telephone. We we had a, a joint loss meeting today, mm -hmm. and I brought up to them as far as eliminating that line, getting rid of the telephone altogether. Um, everybody over there has cell phones. <coughs> that number is not published uh, as far as the number of the transfer station. So the thought was, we, we have two thoughts to it. One is to get rid of that, get rid of the phone that's over there. Right. Beef up the phone at the transfer station because you can get cordless phones. And we can reach over there. It would reach over there. So have a, have a cordless one over there so it's still on there. And take some of the savings from eliminating this phone brings me back to the computers. We both have the same computer. We have one modem that plugs into it. Now, he's online. I need to get online. I gotta borrow his modem, plug it into mine. All right. Go wireless at the highway building. And it would reach over at the transfer station. So the savings. So save there. some money on the telephone, get rid of that. Get rid of the wireless, the internet. Yeah, the, the modem that plugs into the computer. Yeah. And just go to straight wireless and build it already in the building. Right. Yeah. All right. So getting a wireless modem, doing away with the the that flash much, card that you put in. Right. Yeah. And it pretty much is a wash. Because we that point. every month. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. That so brings it, and that's, I think it brings it almost to zero. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Difference. So I mean that was after this was printed today. So okay. that's where that idea came in. We'll mull that over. Yep. Land for regional tipping. This is where it's all kind of up in the air. Yeah, we have a meeting there. Coming up soon. Yeah, Caroline didn't have any real numbers to plug into that. Yeah, I haven't told her. Yeah, along with the trucking side. Well, the trucking side of it's gone anyway. Yes. So. So that's a good thing. That means that's gone, but yep. doesn't mean we're not paying to have it. Well, yeah, it brings, somewhere it brings us down to the next line. Right. Can I go back of course. Yep. Can I go back to the telephone? Sure. I, I have a. I, I'd rather have a hard wire telephone. But are all of them? Are, do you have Comcast? Yeah. So in that in, in the trend in the So why can't you get a Comcast phone line? And it would be part of your Comcast bill. We already have a phone in the office over there. Oh, oh. Comcast? I don't know what the, where that phone line that we're through. It's a town phone. It, or is it is it um, I think it's the other company. I can't remember. Is it Rain Central not Rain Central? No. Um, what no okay. it used to be called but I okay. now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're hard wired to us. But we have. I'd like to say something. On that phone, it was installed with the understanding that you had to have whatever company put the line in mm -hmm. for a year. Mm -hmm. oh, that's right. And it was just recently done. Alright, so we may be. <clears throat> it, the year is probably up by now, but. Mm -hmm. Oh, so that, you can that's, change provided is what why. you're saying. Okay. Well, I just, uh, you know. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have good cell service in Marlinsburg at all. And you have good cell service well, down right, there? Right into the tower. I know, but it depends what kind of plant, what, who you have, right? Mm -hmm. Right, but, oh, but, but mm -hmm. they're suggesting There's a, getting a, a, wire, a, a no, cordless telephone. A cordless phone from us. Off I seen yeah, line like a that we had at the garage. To, to bring over to uh, the well, highway department. He yeah. said that they all had cell phones. Well, that was I, my concern. Oh, well, everybody does, but put change <laughs> the... Put a handheld unit. From my phone 
phone, just an extension at the transfer station off our phone. Okay, you're not going to rely on cell phones. Oh, no, 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 no. Then I'm okay. No, okay. My okay. concern is okay. on the on the phone we can put a message for the transfer. This is wrong. The highway and and transfer station. Okay. I leave a message. Yeah, I was on it and stuff. Okay. And you think the base station in the highway oh, uh, we'll garage is going to reach over that? We're going to try it and see. We've got. Two a week. Do we? we have two more offices right now. Right. See if it works. And I'm gonna take one over there yeah. into the little office over there. They do we'll have now they're more strong too. So mm -hmm. I mean, the only issue we have is both buildings are metal plat buildings. Right. And that's where the, the signal kind of stops. Yeah. I, I yeah. would be so concerned. We're gonna do a little test on that. If you test it and it works, then and if we can make it work, that we'll, 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 yeah. we'll yeah. talk about it some before more. Yeah. Before we just what we're gonna do, yep. we're gonna make it work. Okay. I mean, worst case scenario, we're still here in the budget. So in Lamprey Regional Tipping, we need to put on hold because we don't have the numbers yet. Trucking Co-op is gone, which is good, but that brings us down to line 11. Yep, trucking. Mm -hmm. And that's where we have two and a half hauls per week. Yep, oh, we talked about that. Yep, yeah. and that's plugged in there at 29.550. Uh, 29, okay. So. And the trucking recycling. Is We're getting, a, getting a, away from the single screen. Mm -hmm. So any trucking we're going to have on recycling is going to be done by us. Right. Uh, once it's bailed, mm -hmm. both you know the metal and the uh, aluminum goes to Berwick. They both will go over there. Yep. Okay. We're in the back of the dump truck. Okay. So take it over there. That's and close to that. Good. Yeah. And yeah. Three miles away. Yeah. And you're taking the glass. The glass is Wakefield. The glass is going to Wakefield. We've right. had one load up there already, and yeah. the truck went down. Um, I'm Kind of anticipating getting another load up there this week, okay. and that should empty out our glass bin for what we've collected over the past eight weeks, probably. So yeah. eight weeks. So, yeah. Yeah. Depending yeah. On which also we do uh, Yeah. Single sheet yeah. about seventeen ton. Okay. So seven. Yeah, seven. Mm -hmm. We took all these ton, right? About forty. No, four thousand. Half of that. Eight thousand pounds. So about sixteen thousand pounds will be taken up there. That we're getting rid of at thirty dollars a ton mm -hmm. versus sixty-five plus right, uh, uh, in single stream. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so there's a thirty-five dollar savings per ton right there. Okay. And looking at the bills, it's sat to reflect. So that's positive. How about alrighty? Equipment and maintenance. We're adding that extra baler, mm -hmm. so it basically just adds another. That's another 650. So that will cover the uh, the maintenance agreement that we have. Okay. Yeah. That, that just adds another one to it. So, and we probably won't have to have that maintained for at least a year because it's coming in all referred. Mm -hmm. So, so there may be a positive left in that line. Okay. Disposal of metal tires, etc. That should be the offsetting revenue for that one. Yep. Yep. The next two are just basically offsetting what we had from the year before. So, I mean, it's just the same numbers. And then we have the brush chipping. Oh, the cooperative closure, well, that's, that's, that's not going to change. I think there. that's a given number that yeah. just plays forward. Mm -hmm. The uh, brush chipping, we did that in-house last year. It worked out fair. Um, I'd like to put it back in for this next year. Mm -hmm. So if, if, I, if we can have the time and have the guys do it, great. If not, I wanted to be able to have the company come in and just get rid of it. Okay. So we yeah, it started out good, but then they were getting kind of got overwhelmed, and the weather kind of closed in. I mean, you don't want to do it on 95 degree days that are 100% right. humidity, and we had a couple other little minor issues that you know, were they um, issues with rather, Related to weather or, or um, personnel. Personnel. Yeah. The pers personnel issues. Personnel issues. And not yeah. wanting to do it as often as it should have been done. Yeah. And I think part of it too, we had quite a quite a few big storms this past winter. Mm -hmm. and we, it kind of came in fast with the areas too. So. Okay. <coughs> the waste disposal day is the waste disposal day. That's what yes. we get charged for actual yeah. use in yep. the past. And, so. Yep. Right. And the Freon. Freon is, we have 200 in there. I'm still waiting on a, on a callback mm -hmm. to find out the exact number. Uh, past years, all the 
anything that had Freon in it, so it's air conditioners, dehumidifiers, uh, refrigerators, freezers, they were hauled as a unit right. off, gone. Right. We can have a company come in and pump off the Freon for so much per unit. Mm -hmm. And then they leave the units with us, all pumped out, all clean. We kick them over into metal. Right. We get paid for the metal. Right. We so, that yeah. Well, it was given it right, yeah. way before. Yeah, we, yeah, they were taking the whole unit. Yeah, and they were charging us for it. Right. And then they go in and they uh, right. the sell for scrap. Right. So, okay. So, I've got a, you know, there's a few unknowns. Right. Some is the hauling. Right. The different fees. Uh, one is what we're gonna, what, what's going to happen with paper. That's one of the I, other paper and plastics. Okay. Um, paper, there's a little market for. Plastics, there's no market for. All right. So, it's going to cost us still to get rid of plastic. Okay. But it costs us money to get rid of the single screen. But we're pulling all this stuff out of the single screen, so once again we can also bale the plastic and get rid of it as a lump, as opposed to a lot of air in a container. Right, right, right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, hauling a uh, you know, container full of air. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we pack it. Yeah. We pack that single screen down numerous times a week with the backhoe. So we're trying to get. Right. We were on Wednesday. Will be what day number four? That it goes last Wednesday, Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday of this week on the single screen. So it's four days of collecting. Right. And like I say, we're packing it down. We probably have eh, maybe that much room in the top of it now. But for Wednesday, that should be fine. So by next Saturday, it'll be empty. Before Saturday, be empty and ready to go again. Okay. So we kind of switched to using a largest container for that, which I think is a 50 yard. Mm. It seems to work out better. Are there any questions for uh, the transfer station portion? Uh, for the recognition of it's some unknowns. So. Right. Yeah. yeah, we've been in talking to Caroline pretty steady on this and trying to get that going. Okay. Uh, there's also... Uh, I'm going to split the, his wages, which... Oh, uh, yeah. Pie with the transfer station. Say that again? Sure. Ed's wages will be split. <coughs> Taking some off of the highway side and put it to the transfer station side. Yeah, I don't think she didn't put that on the transfer station. She does in the bottom of line. Yeah, line thirty-one on the other page. Yeah. Okay, it's just not. It doesn't have a dollar number. That's right. Okay. Yeah. That's what you're proposing that you're going to do. Right. Yeah. Yeah, we're bouncing between the two of them. So. Um, uh, the only other thing Caroline mentioned and wanted me to bring up is, like, on the year-to-date uh, expenditures for this year. Uh, we've still got some bills outstanding with Shipyard that they, they didn't, haven't been paid yet. They haven't billed us yet. They've been in the folder. Okay. Do you have not paying them. Okay. Right, we're waiting for yeah, them. there's some issues between them. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so she just wanted me to mention that's not reflected in anything. Okay. Here goes as far as what might be left. So. All righty. Yeah, I don't think they did us any great favors. So, no. All right, George. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you want to start at the top? Yeah, please. Okay. It shows change on my salary of 3000 It's actually going to be two because you already gave me a, a raise uh, previously. So that should, that, was, that should have been changed. Uh, Full-time staff, I proposed raising their pay $2 an hour. That's not even the amount of money we've been saving on these projects and I know it's our job, uh, and that's just to uh, get them up to where most highway farms around here are. Okay. And, and, and part time staff, we just want to increase hours so, so we get more done in the summer, uh, summertime pro with summertime projects. Okay, so before I move off of line four, so your, your, your rationale for the, the increase for the Assistant road agent is a market increase, a market adjustment. Yeah, so yeah. Um, just making a note of it. Okay. okay. And so, I'm sorry, line five, part time staff reflects. I think they increase the increase up to 20,000 so we have more available hours to work uh, projects that we have in the summer besides our plowing. I mean, this year we got quite a few projects done with the three people we could have used a third or fourth occasionally, and we just, you know, we're trying to keep.
keep an eye on what's going on with the, the budget. So. so this isn't just a um, spinning position. This is multiple people's position. Like, like, when, they like when we could use an extra, you know, we could use some extra people on some of these projects. I mean, we're doing it with three people, sometimes four, four person yeah. and fifth person. I mean, so it doesn't really have like. So it it doesn't necessarily go with the person. It's it's, the it's a multiple, but yeah. it's spinnies in this one, right? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. I noticed that some of the, the retirement's not in there, so that's not reflected. Those are changes that she's got to she's working on. Okay, so the increase for in line five is for additional hours, not necessarily additional. No, right, just more hours, and, you know, not knowing what it's going to be like, and you know, it's for more people that can help us with the summer project besides. So we roll. I can't remember. Apparently, we did. We rolled in um, winter and summer um, combined uh, part time that into one line. Yeah. It was, it, was it, was confusing. it was confusing, you know, okay. having a separate, separate hours. Okay. And so poor, uh, obviously the payroll taxes are reflective of the, uh, and the retirement system. Yes, it's supposed to be. Changes are... Uh, you know, retirement of you two, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, safety equipment? I didn't change that. That, that 950. Uh, my question is, what is it for? <laughs> the safety equipment. Is it for me? Is doing the license? These are uh, these are. Uh, um, no, no, no. These are um, like your. Um, I to think. I think it's just for like your boots and things like that. Isn't it? Uh, safety equipment is. I don't think so. I don't I think, think you're we, right. I don't think I we think do keep it under there. there. We didn't get that from the uniforms are, are like the, are the actual ones that, like the rentals that in the laundering. Hopefully. I'm not arguing that it shouldn't, it might make sense to be under there, but I don't think they are. I think it's under safety equipment because we pay for. Yeah, I think you're right. Maybe we should put some We didn't get that That's why it's not used. On there so then. There's no question going forward. Well, there used to be in the in, in the note section. We would just put um, uh, boots and um, actually, something else comes out of there. Um, I think um, mostly boots. I think to be honest with you, for for yeah. Yeah, yeah, we come under there as well. You know, we that that check this for the other thing about that most of it. Um, but yeah, that's, most of it's just, yeah. maybe we should make a note of that. We didn't, want to change, we didn't change that line, but that's so what like, I was about. And at one time, it used to be, um, it didn't, you know, the next line down is preventative health. That's where sh all their shots. Mm -hmm. um, that um, they used to be combined under uh, safety equipment. So we right. broke that up. So. That, that's one thing, the uh, AED, the battery and stuff. Oh, yeah, that. sure, so that would come out of there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's use. Yeah, I don't know. Gloves. Gloves if you need them, that sort of thing, yeah. All right, so, uh, so we've got the preventative health, you know what that is. Telephone and cell phone. No change there? No, we didn't, we're not going to cut, if we can cut that into that out of that one, that'll save us and put it towards the other. So we're not going to raise that amount. Right, it shouldn't, it shouldn't increase, it would just be offset. Right. So okay. if we, yeah. instead of renting the, the card every month, we would get a right. wireless modem. Okay. Because you already have internet down there. Right. Uniform, you see an increase because the uniform line was underneath the transfer station. Now we're splitting that. Okay. And that's where that increase comes. Okay. So it's, just, it's uh, okay. Your supply line, we've increased. As you see, we're up a little bit on it. I believe some of that could be transferred to the building maintenance that it was in that, uh, that we used that was under the supply. But I raised it up a little bit for, uh, you know, different uh, shovels and stuff like that that we need. So when you replace the light bulbs down at the highway department, you consider that supplies or building maintenance? I've been putting it under supplies, but it could come under maintenance. Okay. Well, no, I'm just wondering, so that would be part of the reason why it's up, right? Yeah. Depending on what's coming up. I'm, I'm not arguing, I right. think that might be part of it, right? Things like that. Yeah, there's some things that were 
just don't put it in the right category. <laughs> in the equipment line, you'll notice that we still have uh, over three thousand dollars left. In almost four thousand dollars in the equipment line left. Uh -huh. And you'll notice next year that we have four thousand dollars of line striking machine. Uh -huh. Well, that fourth thing, I got a price on the line striking machine that we can save six hundred dollars if we can purchase it this year. Probably until budget. I'm just ask, I, I'm showing that we have the money in the, in these items. What I would suggest, George, is that you hold it off yeah. until we get closer to the end of the year. That's that's what I would. That's why I just wanted to bring it up, so that that would reflect not having that fifteen thousand in the increase on the. So, you got your trailer, you got your your explosion explosion proof uh, yeah. cabinet, yes, right? Do you get your fridge? The what? Your small fridge. We have a fridge door. Oh, perfect. Then you have to buy it. Perfect. Okay. I'm just saying what, what we had for notes for last year. That's yeah, all. Yeah. Or this current year. Right? Okay, so if you can hold the line on equipment, you don't need it somewhere else, and we don't need to reallocate I, I, it somewhere I else. To, uh, we can talk about it. Just with them, to be able to make. Right. So. Uh, okay. We pay the maintenance, age of the fleet. I just we, we raise it up a little bit. That may not have to happen. Uh, we'll see what fuel. We didn't change anything. We're holding our own right now. Okay. Signs. I didn't use it all, but there is some signs that we're going to need, so I kept it at the same. Have you you've used some of it? Just not all of it yet. So yeah, we get a little bit more. To, we get some more okay. signs to get. Okay, so, perfect. Uh, line striping. I put back in. <coughs> if we happen to get a machine, or if we can borrow a machine. I put it in for paint. Just for the, the paint. Twice I'm all set. But you put the line striping in the equipment, so. But it. No. The, well, I, I have the line striping machine under equipment. Right. Right. But, but either way, you would need paint. the paint. Where do we um pay for that now? With. It was uh, this year they eliminated it. We didn't do anything. Okay. That's and it's time to get some of these crosswalks painted and stuff. We're kind okay. of behind on crosswalks. And, and these aren't the, like the long lines like on the road. These, yeah. are, the, these are the, the smaller, like the parking. All these stuff downtown, the parking spots, or your stop lines and stuff. That how much would that cost if we had to contract it out? They had it in. I think it was four thousand. You had it. Something like that. Something like so that. Mission for the same. Okay. And after one year, yeah, it would have yeah, you, you, you want to properly maintain that it should last for some weeks, quite a few years, I would think. Right. The, with the amount of strike that we can do in town, we, we, and we need to do something at the transfer station as far as lying in yeah. direction and stuff, you know, so yeah. that's... Yeah, sometimes a free-for-all. <laughs> so, as both of us have been working, then we've been kind of studying the pattern of the cars, mm -hmm. and kind of got it in mind that maybe three separate line, lanes and... Get that streamlined. All right. Tree maintenance. We have money left to do a few trees. Uh, we haven't used it all this year. Uh, You're proposing an increase. Where um, do we have a list of trees still? Uh, we have some here? trees that get a couple big trees that are going to come down. Then uh, there's one on General Sullivan that's God forbid I don't know how long that's. I mean it's still standing, but it's getting in truck shape. And I'm going to have Ed come out and look at some trees again and see what needs to be. Yeah. But you're not doing it. Not do, not, no, nothing to do with power lines. Not to say. <laughs> okay. Ed from Urban oh, Green. Oh, right. oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Different Ed. Yeah. Different Ed. I mean, Mike's. I'll, I'll cut, cut trees. Mike will cut, cut trees. Mike's going to cut the trees that we have in the park across on the fire seat. There's a fire seat there, yeah. there, and we can drop them ourselves and get them okay. cut up. Okay. So, that's good. But yeah. Stuff along the road with power lines involved, we're not getting into that. That's, yeah. that's also good. Beyond our. Uh, okay. Uh, where did we leave off? Uh, sand and gravel. gravel. No change. Okay. I, I, I wouldn't change that right now. Street sweeping. I suppose raising it up a little bit because we didn't. You don't get everything for that fifteen hundred dollars. We could go a little bit further. That's by the hour. We're paying for that. Okay. So it's proposing to five hundred dollar increase. Yeah, there. at least get a little bit more. That you know, up into big areas and all them and areas that we haven't, you know. Get the sweet, sweet, that good. 
right, cold pad hot mix. So if anyone wants to stop, if you have questions, just no, uh, call our office. I increased a little bit, but this year we used most of it out with the road maintenance, and, and that's where I'm concerned. We can either take and put that in the road maintenance now that that's aligned, and not have to increase that. But, you know, I mean, that's just a thought. Because it is part of road maintenance, coal patching, and, you know, we get different lines for this and that. And that's why you can't put them together. It makes sense to put them together. Yeah. So. Alright, uh, salt, no increase there? No, nope. and actually we've uh, still got $11,000 worth of mm -hmm. salt money, and we're going to fill it in as soon as we get it cleaned out here. Okay, well, so we're still but be, salt went up, so... Right, but we're still going to be, we're still going to finish the year with what we have, and then have some money to... Okay, so you don't want to increase that line? I don't think it's, I mean, we've knocked out... We get through the winter last year. And okay, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just, no, just, I think we're good. So the stormwater management, that's no change there. I and didn't change it because I, uh, I don't know what that line actually is. You, that is the outside contracts or something. Yes, so to, to, um, to map and all that. So right. we just check and see. Yeah, I didn't change nothing with that. If we need to continue doing that with the MS4. I'm waiting for a call in the catch basins to get them in here to clean them. Okay. Uh, show them used to do it. They sold their truck. They're not doing it anymore. So I'm waiting on another company. Uh, it was a call back. They, they, they've done it previously. Okay. Hopefully they're and see close the by. Schedule. Not close to show. That's one of the things that we have to monitor what comes out, right? For yes. stormwater. So we, we have, have to, to make keep sure track of that. We know exactly what we're taking out and where we're cleaning and okay. everything else. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah, Perfect. I, I used to do it in my work. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. All right. So I didn't. I increased the road. Resurfacing line by twenty-five thousand, not knowing what your plans are. Now, I have a suggestion. Mm -hmm. We finished the heritage project. No. Without, I mean, get it graveled in, based in. Yeah. I suggest that we do something with Sligo from the Bear Road at least to Woodlands. Yeah, okay, that end. Yeah, that's pretty rough. I went and down there the other day. Get that ground down and based in this year. And then next year, plan on paving all three of them projects at once, just the overlay. I think that would probably, I, I want to get, a, I'll get a price out in different ways. But it, it, it won't hurt to let it settle an extra year. Okay. Well, we you just confused me. Yeah. Did you say this year? This coming, not now. This next, 2019. 2019. Okay, yeah, this year is still 18. Right. <laughs> right. We haven't sat down and talked about roads, but yeah. right. I know okay. Sligo Road is getting in pretty rough shape. Yeah. And yes. I want to get permission to get them to look, get a price on doing that section yeah. and finishing heritage the way we did the woodlands. Right. Now the woodlands is done completely. No, it's not overlay. No, it's okay. not okay. coat. It so we need to overlay that and we need to but we need, we can, If we can hold up and do all three overlays in one year. Oh, that's probably better. Right, right. Yeah. It's coming here. Next year we'll yeah, mm -hmm. we finish heritage, face it in, just like we did woodlands. Mm -hmm. And it's set to another year. And then do Sligo, base it in, and let that set for a year. Yeah. And then all three, try to get all three of them top coated the following year. That makes sense. At least we'll give us a <coughs> jump start on the Sligo road situation. That road is going to be falling apart. It's coming apart, yeah. yeah. It's a pretty rough shape yeah, from what that I makes saw. Sense. And, right. I, and there is other parts of it that have to be done, but, you know, I mean, we, we have to look at that later on. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. We don't put it on a scientific approach as to which end of it is some more. Heavily traffic travel. I don't know. I'm thinking for the right area, rougher to, shape. So to uh, Woodlands. Yeah, it's probably the way the traffic Just goes up. To going to more Woodlands. money in the paving budget. I'm thinking of dropping some hot top down there ourselves and spreading it with tobacco and then rolling it in and buying us some time on that rough section down towards uh, Mrs. Well, Aikman's house yeah. down in that area. That stretch of road there is getting. That's some pretty bad rock there too. Okay. But if right. that'll buy us some time. We'll put an initial hot top on there ourselves. It's you know it's not going to be it's not going to be the smoothest road, but it's not going to be nowhere near what it is. Mm -hmm. And at least we we'll keep the hot top together for a while. Mm -hmm. And then um, okay, so that that covers the highway department. But then under um, uh, yeah. government buildings, you've got the, the highway garage maintenance. You want to increase increase that up to seventy five hundred. Yeah, that we may be able to drop a tax to five. I want to see what we're done with these other projects. 
you know, just finishing up the stuff we're doing. I, that may not have to change. I, I know that was in there for moving the office and stuff, and right. that pretty much all that stuff pretty well taken care of, but we still have some money in that budget. Are there any other questions for, for George Ed? No. For right now? All right, well, thank you, brother. We are um, we're meeting, we're going to meet next Monday. It's, uh, town, the town hall's closed for Columbus, the current room and all of it. But we're going to meet and just do a budget workshop. So we're going to take up your budget. You don't have to be here for it, but um, start plugging it in probably next Monday night. You and the police department, so just so you're aware. How many times is that going to be? Six o'clock. I think, that, no, we said on Saturday, yep. six, six, six to eight. Um, just so you know. So we may come back with more questions yeah. after and Monday night. Just so you know. We will probably expect it. All right. As far as the additional budget, we get some line data. Significant money if you need right. some stuff going on. Okay. So. So we just need a couple of things here. Um, we have, sorry, any other questions for us? Yeah. We have a few more things on the agenda, though. Mm -hmm. so, so we've hired the transfer station attendant. We did that. We've talked about the, the phone. You're going to do an experiment, see if it works down there. Yeah. And we can go from there. The DOT student project doesn't really affect. Well, it will. So um, engineering students at the University of New Hampshire are, have proposed to use um, Portland Avenue. That, uh, the intersection of Portland, Roberts, and yeah. Bear, thank you, Sorry, the rank bar. Bear Road, um, as one of their capstone projects. So coming up with traffic calming techniques, that sort of thing, that they can then give to us that we can use um, as sort of a launching point or a starting point to go to the state and say, this is what we'd like to see done. Um, which will benefit us that we don't have to hire an engineer to come up with the plans and then um, they get some practical experience. As long as we decide we're going to go forward with it, I can't imagine why we wouldn't because it doesn't cost us anything, they will be reaching out to you, to the police department, and to the select board to get our input, just so you're aware. So, but um, we haven't decided whether or not we're going to go forward with it and we'll talk about it a little later. So I don't want to keep you all here for, for nothing. So. <laughs> But there is one other thing I've got to put on the agenda. Um, speaking of Heritage Drive, up way past me on 86. Yes, by, I, I talked to Mr. Shabby. Okay, the other day. Oh, you did. Okay, yeah. I ran into him and I said I would talk to you about it. I think I'm going to take the watch off and just try to. That's where they ended that patch. Yeah, and it just sort of dropped and by. Yeah, and you can feel it in the vehicle. I didn't realize that's where she fell. Yeah, I didn't either. I, I went out there. The other I day. thought it was down in the area that was. So up. imagine you're walking along or driving along and probably about. No exaggeration, the thickness of this table, the yeah, pavement yeah. just drops. Mm -hmm. They didn't it match starts it again. They just stopped pavement. So whenever it got, I don't know how many years ago it was, they, it is what it is. That's how it was done, apparently. And yeah, they, so, they didn't blend it in. Not at all. And I see, he's told me that before. And I've gone down, I don't know, I, I guess I've missed it, I don't know how many times, but I can maybe didn't go down far enough. But yeah, it's quite, it's significant drop off. So, yeah. So that didn't get fixed when we were doing the we project? We didn't go that far down. We didn't go that far, far. Uh -huh. So it's just a matter of we can get hot top and just we can blend that in. A little bit so it's not as dramatic. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, you can feel it when you, even when you plow. You, you, you couldn't I've feel it. I've never felt a plow. I think it's because the plow hits it on such an angle. Yeah. The plow rides right up over it. Mm -hmm. It's not a chap. It's, it's an angle. Right. But it's like they were the snow and everything. Instead of grinding in and blending it in, they didn't. They just stopped. It stopped. And it's a good two inches at least, and we're just drops. Mm. So if you're walking the other direction, of course, it stumbles a bit down. Yeah. But if you're going the other way, you kick your foot in it and you fall on your face like. Um, so, yeah, I, he mentioned that to me Saturday, and I told him we'd be there. Okay. So we could get some hot coffee. Perfect. Unless well, there's any objection from the board to fixing, uh, temporarily fixing it. No, we have the money. It's an inexpensive fix. Okay. Uh, Anything else for us? I don't know. So. <laughs> All right. I think that's enough. Anything for from the board? No. Oh, all right. Well, uh, why don't you go to the CIP? It, it, Caroline was. Is there? We do have stuff in that budget. CIP for us, right? Yeah, I just haven't updated it on okay. the system yet. Okay, that's why she didn't yeah. see it. So. Yeah. And you're going to make that report another night. Or so. Yeah. 
So I am. So it's, yeah. No, no. It's if you have things, done. if you have things on the CIP, it will be coming forward. I don't think I have access to change it. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna find out. They get some numbers for you. Yep. All right. If I don't have them, I'll call. Well, thank you for that. Thank you. Chief, uh, uh, Bob, do you mind if the fire chief goes? Oh, no, he was here before me. That's fine. He's, uh, he's been patiently waiting. That's fine. He came in just late enough where he got nope. stuck behind the, uh, the budget for I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you're, 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 next, you're up next week, so the week after, rather. 18th. Uh, right. I did the info in the park of Caroline, so. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's Everybody got a, an old individual yeah, award. We all got a, uh, a chair of the department. Notorious awesome. service ribbon. Awesome. So You're going to hang that at, at the fire station? Yeah. Yeah. That's some of the other things that we've received over the years. Very nice. Let me see. Oh. For the minute. Fios to run through. And I'll be out of your hair. The first one I have is for the city of Dover. Um, it's for repairs to engine one. Inspection, service, and repair is what it was. They uh, we had some uh, lighting issues on board, which Dover took care of. Uh, this will come out of our vehicle repair line. There's still So we're having work done was 438.24. You reached your up. Um, so I'll move uh, purchase order 1439 in the amount of 438.24 to the city of Dover for work on engine one. Second. And, and engine one chief is the older of the two vehicles, correct? Yes. So everyone's aware. Uh, yeah. All the vehicles have been inspected. Service. I haven't gotten a portion of the bill for that yet, but usually that's typically only a few hundred dollars. So once we get that, basically that should take care of all of our equipment needs, unless something goes completely in the next few months, and we, sh we should be all set. All right. Any other questions on this one? Yeah. All right. All those in favor of purchase order 1439 say aye. Aye. Opposed? All right. You get yours back. I can't remember. No. Okay. Well, Caroline, Caroline, I'll be the only one who gets the Caroline gives Is that the, you keep on with the Yeah, I got a little fold here. I'll put it on oh, there okay. and hand it off. Okay, perfect. Here at the end. Or we can just send it in here. Just put them in there. The second half of one that I have is actually a proposal. i got to run it by you to make sure it's going to work. Is we got three projects that we want to do for the building units. Yeah. Side of things. Yeah. And this is the first one, and the, and the individual that we're looking to do the work has written up a proposal. Here's his proposal. Basically, what we're going to have done is the side door, which faces the ball field, yeah. and it's deteriorated to the point where it's starting to fall out of its. Well, that's things. probably not good. So, <laughs> the bottom of it is just rusted. Sure. So, we're looking to get that replaced. Yeah. He's also going to repair some of the paving, put a better sweep on it because it's just a sure. you know, old age, and you know, it's a normal model. That's one of the projects. Right. Piece of front face here above where the tank truck sits, you know, on the ball field side, that was. Separated in some of the winter storms last year, about a 10 foot piece at the side they wanted to exit, so that's going to get repaired. Okay. We had some donations to us for uh, some microwaves and some cabinetry for the kitchen. Yeah. So um, we had some electrical work upgrades done last year that yes. Simo did. Yeah. This is kind of a uh, add on to that where we want to get some cabinetry and a countertop put in in the kitchen to finish that project off. Yeah. That's all incorporated within that proposal by uh, Rick Burns to do the three projects. Yeah. It, it has a total there of twenty-five thirty-five. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, the is and highly recommend it's done work for some other people in the department. Uh, the thing is, if you look on there, it says payment as follows. Instead of just one check issue, as typical as a contractor may want, little up front, little in the middle, little in the end. Yeah. Is that something that works here or not? Uh, I can't see why not, as long as we have uh, that there's a purchase order for each one, for all three installments. Is you know. so that you want? Because I wrote a purchase order for the yeah, whole why do you have to do that? I didn't write it three different things. Right, well right, that's what I mean. We'd have to, one sorry. purchase order. We don't need three separate ones, what I meant to say, I'm sorry. We, we, yeah, we have the right one, one purchase order if we want to put it in three different right. dispersions. Right. Put your terms on there and then we'll... Terms are here, can I just put it together with that? Mm -hmm. Because 
basically that proposal right there requires a signature. I guess that's what the guy wants to do. So if you want to sign this, I'll take this one back with me. So as soon as we approve the purchase order, I can sign it. Purchase wow. order number 1437. Uh, this is going to come out of the building and maintenance budget for the fire department. There's roughly $6,900 still in there out of the, third, out of the 75 which we have. So, you looking up the number? I am. $7,500. It's uh, 419-4432. You know, it's under the key no, 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 we don't have that. We don't have that. Um, I know, I just looked at it the other night, the other day, when I was working with Caroline. And you did have uh, money in there. Oh, yeah. I just go back and find it then. Should be on the first page under, or second page under government buildings. Yeah, it's right up in the front. Oh, you have it under government buildings instead of fire? Yeah. No, it does, doesn't come under the fire department. No, it does not. You want to see it on Where the town hall and all those things It's are. right here. It's right here. It comes under all of those. It's on page four. Yeah. Um, so, where well, are The only um, mean is right there. Fire department, seventy five hundred. Yeah, seventy five hundred. We spent like six hundred at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, we are. So yes, okay. Okay. So we're still plenty in there, and that'll come to see two projects when I get those all done, get them settled. Okay. So who has the PO? I got the PO. Oh, why don't we move it so we can discuss okay. it some more? You're up next. I think. Purchase order one four three seven. Rick Burns Carpentry. R and R. What is R and R? Remove and replace Bonfil. Side entry door. Replace front fascia. Fascia and cabinets and countertops in kitchen to be under repair and maintenance of the fire department for twenty five thirty five. Payment terms as well. I'm going to add on there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And Mike's looking at him right there. Oh, a second. Okay. So I want to clear. The, the, the contractor would like it to be paid in three installments to be $145. Yeah, well, they can buy the materials, I'm assuming. Exactly, buy yeah. the materials and get going with it once once he starts the project. So what is going to be the... 845. At signing? Yeah. This includes all the materials. This, this is the whole thing right there for all the parts and pieces that we need. So if the door... Oh, at signing, so he needs five parts, and then when he starts, he wants another 845. And then 845 at completion. So as soon as we get this signed, and get Caroline get the first one going so he can start doing what he needs to do so we can get this stuff for winter sets in. And the door replaces my room. Any other questions or concerns or comments? Yes. We had a microwave, we had set kitchen cabinets donated to us. So we need the countertops and the installation and whatnot. So that's what he's going to do. So some of the stuff which we're installing. I was going to say, because I'm looking at this list of things, there's quite a bit here. So There is. For the $2,500, so that's yeah, I was a good thing. thing. I thought it was going to work out. All right, any other questions, comments, concerns? Seeing none, all those in favor, purchase order 1437, say aye. Aye. Aye, aye opposed? All right. Congratulations again on the... Uh, yeah, it was a good evening. Yeah. It was uh, enlightening for some of the members that were new and had never been to anything like that because, like I said, you know, the governor and the you know, and the So the picture's in one of the papers, yeah? Yeah, there's a bunch of posted pictures on the town on the website, so it was a kind of nice picture. The governor has something on his Facebook page, too, but it was a 
none of you except the kid, I think. And yeah, that was the first thing that was the yeah. pony had done something. Cute, to make a wish thing. Yeah, for, yeah. For, for yeah. Young child, so that was a good thing. I have a question for you. Um, I know it didn't work out last year, and I'm not sure of the details of why it didn't work out, but I'm looking to see if the fire department has a person who can do minor first aid and CPR for REC. Do, yeah, I'll get you that. Is there a cost? Because we, we don't put it in our budget. No, I actually think I have some guys that might be able to do it. If they, if not, we'll go to the ambulance. And I don't think we'll do it. And I, they should do you know if it's a cost from you? It shouldn't be a cost. I mean, we're paying them a contract anyway. I know we've always wanted Sean Glidden to do it, but he's been kind of like... He's on straight now. He disappeared, so... But I have some other guys that are going through train, training classes and whatnot for that. And I'll okay. find out where they are. Like Tanner Hoffman, but he hasn't been around because his wife said he had some home. surgery. Yeah, she's at home. So yeah. he was one that was willing to do it. He had awesome. approached me on that. Okay. And if he is... What's your time frame? Well, it won't, it'll be next spring. Next year. Oh. Next spring, but I, I have to budget for it if it's sure. a cost. Yeah. So, and... Um, Last year they had to go through McGregor. Uh, McGregor? Did they McGregor? McGregor? That's their room. I don't really want to do that. Uh, sure we think don't we could get something through our own provider. Me too. Me too. I wasn't part of that last year. Yeah, okay. Um, but even if we couldn't do that, I know I have a bunch of guys in the department that I work for American. I'm sure mm -hmm. we could hook up with American and do something. So. All right, we'll Let me research on. that and okay. I'll get right back to you whether or not you need the budget or cost for that. Okay, I appreciate that. Thank you. And have, have we got the number back from. Uh, you worked on the uh, contract? They haven't contacted you? Mm -hmm. I I know, they may have talked to Caroline, but I don't know. Last time you've been I haven't heard it. I know. Yeah. The last time I was in here two Mondays ago. Yeah, and Caroline and I were. I ran right over there and talked to, talk to Brian Moffat okay. about it. He said he was going to get on them and then had Caroline's contact number. So if there's anything, okay. she would have it along before me. Okay. But I just wanted to expedite that. I don't think so. I came back so. Last week. All right. Anything yeah, else for the fire chief? Yeah. And we already talked to you about the, the railroad crossing. So. Railroad crossing. I got that information All next right. week. Uh, you guys are doing your own little budget thing. And I'll be yes. back on the 18th to go over my, yeah, perfect. my presentation. I want to kind of give you a synopsis of all awesome. right. So do so. you have a plan on what you're going to do because of the railroad crossing? A plan? Mm -hmm. No, just follow the call for something. That's what my plan. Can you go under the bridge? Yes. All of them again? Yes. Oh, well, that's good news. Yes. Okay. When we purchase our trucks, that's one of the things you make sure you do when you purchase a truck that will fit okay. under any of them. We can't worry about weight limits because in some places we can't go. So you come on either side. We understand the numbers. But well, all of our vehicles fit under the bridge. Awesome. Okay. Good to go on that. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. Yep. Very good. All right. Well, thank all you right. very much. Thank Have a great night. You. Next, Chief. How are we doing tonight? Great, how are you doing? So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> the night is young, though, isn't it? It is. Okay. Uh, two purchase orders. Uh, we need to purchase three batteries for AED units. Uh, so, <coughs> we're 1465 to quality response systems, three AED replacement batteries for $497. So I will move purchase order 1465 in the amount of $497 for AED replacement batteries. Second. Are these the ones that are in the cruisers, Chief? Or are these yes. the stationary on the cruisers? Okay. All right, any other questions? No. All, right. All those in favor of purchase order 1465 say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. I will pass it over to you so you can see it. We have a AIM cruiser camera that's in dire need of a uh, repair to its uh, hard drive. Okay. So I have purchased order number 1464, made out to watch guard video for one repair to DVR. This is out of cruiser number 74 for $319. And that will come out of our ready to repair line now. I move purchase order 1464, watch guard video. Repair to DVR on cruiser number 74 for $319. I'll second that. Any questions? Those in favor of purchase order 1464 say aye. 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 Opposed?
all that I have for you. Okay. Um, did you want to discuss uh, the proposed budget tonight? Please. Chiefs line and the two full time lines. Is this going to be based on the um, three percent merit? This is based upon merit up to three percent. Up to three percent. Up to three percent. Okay. All right. And we have a twenty thousand dollar decrease in contract services. Mm -hmm. uh, just based upon uh, you know what happened this year, we don't anticipate doing as many uh, details next year as we did. Uh, it's actually, it's actually a more of a, uh, of a true number than it was adding at the 60 last year. Okay. Uh, payroll taxes and retirement, uh, those numbers are reflected upon 3%. Mm -hmm. um, it could be less depending on how, how uh, the payroll is doing. Mm -hmm. uh, Can I ask a question? Yes. If in the event that you don't give an employee a 3%, where does that money go? Stay in the general fund and look back at the time. Unless it's needed someplace else by another department right. or somebody else. Okay. okay. But, yeah. Um, everything else stays status quo until we get down to equipment. Mm -hmm. We are anticipating receiving a grant from Homeland Security, Highway Safety, for two new in cruiser camera um, meter systems in 2019. And those are um, $5,000 each. So I've added uh, 1300 to help, uh, help offset the initial 5000 that we'll uh, have to pay on our end of our budget. And the rest will come out of the equipment line item. So you said it was two of them? Two. Correct. Did you say five or 500 or 5000 5000 Okay. Fuel, I increased by 1000 and that's just the, uh, uh, the cost of adding or uh, purchasing additional car wash. Uh, since we're no longer allowed to wash cars here, mm -hmm. um, our current coupons will run out uh, within uh, within probably two weeks. Okay. So the plan is to purchase two this year and then two on the 2019 budget. Okay. And where do you get your car washes? Uh, the car wash across from um, Dunkin' Donuts, White Water Car, car Wash. Dunkin' Donuts, where? Andover. 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 Drive through car wash. Is it the one by on Central Avenue? Yes. Yeah, Isn't that Black Dog? I don't think it is anymore. They changed no. after. Oh, they went, oh, you okay. said car wash. I don't know what they're called now. Across from Friendlies. No. No, no. Oh, oh, downtown oh, Donuts. Well, downtown Donuts. There's Dover. multiples in the building. There's like four of them. Downtown. Oh, you're talking about the one with the tracks. Right, the railroad tracks. Right, the railroad tracks. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Increase of $500, that is roughly uh, three cases of ammo. Uh, now that we have a uh, person that's on the SWAT team, uh, you know, they, he goes out and trains uh, twice every month, so that basically takes care of his ammo uh, just for the SWAT team. Uh, so that's just training ammunition? That's just training. Not, um, so does, uh, does the town provide um, ammunition in case he has to go to on a SWAT call or just a SWAT well, team? Well, we, we have a stockpile downstairs, so if there is a SWAT call, and they call for a thousand yeah. rounds, and he can, okay. we'll, we'll, yeah, he, he can grab a yeah, case or two or whatever. Okay. Uh, Strap it dispatch. Um, I went high with this number. I anticipate it's actually going to be uh, significantly less than this. But in the past, um, they've been giving all of the towns in Strava County, once they figure out the bill, is a 5% discount. And for several years now, the chiefs have been complaining to the county that they're not putting enough money into the, into the fund to maintain the current radio system that we have, and right now is faltering. And I, I know that the chiefs are actually meeting with the commissioners, I think next week or within, within a couple of weeks, uh, to talk to uh, the county about doing a countywide evaluation for the radio system. Okay. And the chiefs had recommended to the sheriff's department uh, and, and the county that eliminate the 5% discount and put that money into the radio repair system. Okay. So um, 
with, within a couple weeks, I'll be able to give you a, a better number for that. Um, but what I did is I just rounded it off to make a nice even $10,000, but it will, be, it will be less than that. So it's, it's only those that, um, so Dover has their own, uh, own dispatching system, so, right? Well, actually, what the, Dover has their own, um, yeah, UNH has their own, Rochester and Summersworth has their own. Okay. Um, what they're going to do is they're going to contact those four communities uh, and see about fixing the network the entire countywide. Sure. Of course, they'll have to pay their portion as well, the, the, the cities and whatnot. But for I understand, uh, Durham has already set aside a significant amount, amount of money to do a, 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 a survey for them. Mm -hmm. But they're on the county system, so, so we also wait a minute. I mean, let's just all do it once. Instead of trying to right. piecemeal it together, mm -hmm. hire somebody to come and look at the entire county mm -hmm. as a whole and then come up with a plan. Never understood why so. those communities decided to have their own dispatch. <laughs> Never made sense to me. So, so as, as is proposed right now, a uh, decrease of uh, $6,000 okay. and $6.15. Animal control, I just did 3% and her, her salary for an increase of $93 in her salary, $8 in, in payroll taxes. Yeah. For an increase in animal control budget, $101. Having said that, we have uh, shelter fees of $500. That mm -hmm. is the annual fee that we pay to Canine Chaos. Yeah. Uh, I'm inclined to, for 2019, go back to to Pachico Valley, okay. and they do not, at this point anyway, they do not require a yearly stipend just to participate. They will, they, you'll, they'll, you'll have to pay, it. we have to pay them, you know, per dog, per day. Right. And we have so few dogs that we never really amount to $500 worth right. with a service fees. But they so we just pay a, a large yeah, we, amount we, to we, we just paid the 400 and some odd dollars to pay on chaos per dog that was ordered there. On top of the, on top of the $500. Right, so. right. Um, so there, there might be a little bit of a savings there. Okay. Uh, we're actually, uh, the dog officer is actually uh, speaking with the folks at the Chico Valley to try to round off the number right. and whatnot. But, but I think we're going to eliminate the, uh, the yearly assessment. Okay. What was the reason why you changed? Uh, for a while there, uh, you know, the Chico Valley was under different management and um, um, they wanted at one point $1,200 a year just for the basic fee. And a lot, that's when a lot, of, a lot of the agencies in the county said no more, and we started going to pay on chaos. Mm -hmm. uh, they have new management now, new financial structure. Yeah. So, yeah, they're building a new place, too, right? They are. They're, 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 they're the in a much more stable position these days. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that right? But four times, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Under emergency management, I'm recommending that we use the home and security team of reversing to exactly the same. Okay. And under the CIP, yeah. Um, we're recommending uh, $24,000 for a radar and message board. Um, half of that will be funded, hopefully, we'll know within a couple of weeks, uh, from uh, Homeland Security Highway Safety. Okay. So we'll actually have to fork up $12,000. Okay. Okay. Uh, as far as the cruiser is concerned, I know 2019 is not the year that we purchase a cruiser, but at this time next year, we will have two car, one car with 200,000 miles, another car with almost 200,000 miles. Right. So I am suggesting that um, in order to not have to significantly increase the vehicle maintenance income, that we lease a vehicle in 2019 for three years, and overall we're looking at about $1,200 to $1,500 over and above the cost of just purchasing outright and, and equipment in. That will still allow us to stay within the $25,000 that we're putting aside every year for a cruiser. But we're getting the cruiser a little bit sooner, we're getting the mileage down, and um, we won't have to significantly increase uh, the vehicle maintenance account. And then uh, in a long-term claim, uh, probably in 2020, we'll suggest leasing the second vehicle, doing the same thing. And again, we'll still be able to maintain and be within the CIPs of $25,000. We'll have a newer vehicle with a lot less mileage, and I think overall, by the time we get to, if I figured it out correctly, by the time we get to 2022 or 2024, we actually might be able to skip a vehicle. So I think in the long run, by doing this, uh, we're going to save some money. In the okay. long run. So. That's it. No questions for the chief? No questions. Pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you coming in to talk to us about it. I don't think I have.
appreciate you presenting it to us. Miles, you're good? It's good. All right. Is that, uh, do we have anything on the list here? Do we for you? Uh, oh, yes, Oak Street. Oak so Street, we've, yes. Uh, let's talk about Oak Street some more. Um, so we have the temporary MOU with uh, the city of Dover. We'd like to make it um, permanent. Uh, Caroline was going to forward it to you if you don't have it already. Have you take a look at it, see if there's anything in there that you want added. Um, although detail, uh, not details, but... Um, but, I, but I think we should add in there, uh, you know, where and who is going to take care of the police response or accident. Right, exactly. And whatever on that, yep. on that section of roadway. Mm -hmm. yeah. We agree. Yeah. And we leave that to you to, uh, okay. to figure I, out how you want it yeah. work it. So. Uh, I have, as of noon time, I have received Okay. I have seen it. You know, I, she would have sent me afterwards. Or, she did because I didn't talk to her until after. Okay. So. All right. Maybe around one, I think, is when I talked to her. So. All right. If not, I'll remind her tomorrow when I talk to her. Make sure she sends it to you. Anything else for the chief? No. Very good. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Not really. You too. Thanks. Oh, okay. I'd like to have someone make a motion to go into non-public session to deal with a legal issue under Building Inspector Code Enforcement. Motion to go for building inspecting code enforcement. We'll second that. Okay, there's been a motion made and seconded. Um, we'll do roll call with Denise. Yes. Miles? Yes. Mike, yes. We are a non public session to deal with a legal issue. If you all wouldn't mind turning off the camera and leaving this with. to me um, everything that's not getting done mm -hmm. 
and what, what the actual, is it a 40 hour a week position, um, or can it be done well, with getting Caroline some help? You know Caroline wasn't full time, right? Yes. Oh, okay, so now she is full time yep. on, a, on a temporary basis. Oh, I didn't know well, it was temporary. Well, is it a temporary? I think it's a temporary basis until we decide what's going to happen, right? Well, she was at full time anyways because she was at 32 hours. Okay, good. So we increased her hours to 40 because she's right. an hourly employee. I see, okay. So I think, if my understanding is that if we went to the town administrator, it would be, that would be the full time person and then it would still require a half time person. Okay. So it's, I'm not saying it's Caroline's job, but it would be her position would be the, the full-time position, right? And then they would have half-time position for the, the other stuff, right? In my mind, it would. this is what I would suggest, that it would, we would go the town administrator route. Mm -hmm. That would be a full-time position, and you would have a part-time bookkeeper. Right. Town administrator. So what we did receive um, some job, um, some descriptions right. of what other towns, I think it was like, I don't know, like ten or fifteen mm -hmm. other towns, towns, towns do. Yep. So it would be up to the select board to determine what that person's responsibilities are, uh, how much of a scope we would like to see that person cover and handle. And then based on that, you would say, well, okay, so you still need, need a bookkeeper to handle the payroll. Mm -hmm. um, you want to have redundancy, so the town administrator would probably need to know how to handle payroll in the other person's absence, mm -hmm. which is what we're lacking that. Mm -hmm. um, you would give, uh, depending on, on, on how much latitude you want to give the town administrator, they would give him or her certain responsibility that I don't have in front of me, so I apologize. Maybe well, one of them, I, I, I tried to read the ones that were closest to I us in the area, yeah. but one of them, I mean, they had hiring and, and firing responsibilities. They, you know, they um, were the supervisory person over the part-time uh, people. Right. Um, but it was still, with the um, town administrator, it was still the select board that had control, where if you go to the town manager, the select board loses all control. So the, um, the select board still does the hiring and the firing, technically. The, the management of those positions, the vetting is done by the town administrator and the, and the uh, managing of them is by the town administrator. The select board, I think, still has to hire them. Well, the one I read it. They did the hiring. Yeah. I thought that was under only under town manager. No, 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 no. no because they got they got that permission from the select. Oh, board. I see what you're saying. You, you, I they see can be whatever saying. you want them to yeah, be. I'm sorry, I was misunderstanding. You would be okay. giving them the the authorities. Okay, so let's just say for okay, so this is just this is just the town of Auburn because number one or in the in alphabetical order comes first in this list that I have. Job summary: A chief administrative officer for the town coordinates and is responsible for the administration and financial management of the town, supervises the town hall operations, oversees the general operations of the other town departments, and manages all town activities on a day-to-day -day basis, reports to the Board of Selectmen, major duties, carries out the directives and policies of the Select Board, supervises all personnel and activities under the jurisdiction of the Select or Board of Selectmen, they call it, maintains the town personnel policy, assists with interviewing, selection, supervision, and discipline of town employees and department heads, Coordinates with selectmen, written performance evaluation department heads and administrative staff employees, develops staff evaluations, reviews personnel actions to determine they are in accordance with town policy and all laws, regulations, regulations and procedures. I mean, I don't have to read everything. Well, I'm almost done. Uh, receives and investigates and responds to citizens' inquiries and complaints addressed to the board or other town officials, meets or con uh, converses on the telephone with the members of the general public employees or others as needed, coordinates with appropriate departments, boards, or
Committees resolve issues um, successfully or report to the select board for direction. Oversees the preparation of all budgets comprising of the annual town budget with the budget and finance coordinator. Reviews all budget requests and assists with uh, presentations to the select board. The budget committee coordinates recommendations by those boards. Uh, works with the budget and finance coordinator. This is not someone that we would have, but and the town treasurer to develop projections of all revenues, expenditures, and available funds. Uh, to the prior developing the proposed annual budget and or the summary budget message for the voters guide uh, prepares documents for bidding or town projects or large purchases negotiates and administers uh, contracts as necessary oversees general purchasing activities I mean so and there's like three more pages yep so I don't know no, no, <laughs> you don't need to read them all right but, no, no. but I mean so you understand this is what um, they do the day-to-day -day activities and tasks that is, is required. Right. Some of which um, Caroline's position handles now, mm -hmm. some of which is handled directly by the, the select board mm -hmm. currently. Um, the, the way the state is, uh, well, I have to get into this in a moment, but the way that the state and federal government is moving, the, the days of having just three um, folks that can come and go, some just because they have the, the leisure during the day of coming in, is not going to cut it. You need to have, you need to have people that are a little more sophisticated in dealing with uh, intergovernment agencies, dealing with complex um, reporting requirements. You have to have a trained staff you know, that, that's, that's capable of doing that. Relying on, on, on three elected officials to handle that doesn't make sense anymore. That's why we're one of the few towns left that do not have a town administrator mm -hmm. or town manager. So, um, one of the next steps in my mind is um, is putting out something to the townspeople. Um, whether it's, and it's just it's titled town manager question mark, town administrator question mark, it's like board evaluates options. And I think it was emailed to all of you. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I made some edits today. Um, I did too. So you can take a look at those. We don't have to act on this tonight. I'd like you to actually take some time to read it. Mm -hmm. Some of the changes I made. Um, we can um, deal with it on the 18th. Um, whether or not we want to send it out to people. Um, or. Um, I don't see any more changes on here. Are there? They're in there. They're just, I, I don't know why they're not highlighted. Okay. Um, some of the major changes I changed under the bullet of uh, the, the, the title, Why Are We Short Staffed? All of a sudden, I changed that. Um, a section under How Many Employees Does Rollins Would Have? Um, I think those were the only two sections um, that I actually changed. Oh, and, and what, uh, what is the ultimate goal, question mark? I'm going to change some things. In there. Okay. Uh, a couple of sentences in there are completely new. So take a look at it. Take some time to digest it. So it seems to me that, that um, so Miles, you still have some outstanding questions that you want to have answered before you want to move forward. That's completely fine. We have time where we're just dealing with, with department budgets right now anyway, so we have time to, to think about this some more yep. and, and try to get some of your questions answered. Denise, from what you're saying, it sounds like you think moving towards more in the administrator mm -hmm. uh, is the way to go, mm -hmm. and I tend to agree with you. Um, I, I agree with that as well. As, a, as an initial step, you know, maybe we decide administrator isn't far enough in a couple of years, whatever, and mm -hmm. we can move towards something else. But I think it's a, it's a start. baby step. Yeah, um, yeah, I agree. And there's certainly nothing to stop um, um, residents of the town to petition for the warrant uh, if they want, if they decide they don't think this is enough and they want to see the town government change and go in the direction of a, um, of a manager. It's, um, they won't when they see the price tag on that. Just to be honest with you, <laughs> it is much more expensive for sure. I mean, I just—it's 
you know, it, it's a misnomer to say that, you know, oh, just because you've got three people that have job, full-time jobs, that they can't serve on the select board, they're not willing to do the work, right? I heard that last week, and it was a little insulting, mm -hmm. to say the least. Um, I don't think that's what we're saying, though. No, no, that's what some people were saying oh. to us, and I think it's a little insulting that they can step up and do it themselves if they, if they think that's the case. I'd be happy to give it to them, but um, they never do. So um, times have changed. We do not live in that quote-unquote nicer, simpler, gentler time. We live in this in the real world. In the real world, there are new requirements that every town is required to do. I mean, again, sit through and look at that MS4. Yep. If you don't believe me, that's just the tip of the iceberg for the things that we have to work on. So if, if we think we want to keep fudging it and not and doing like it was done at one time, just not doing the things, we can do that. I had lunch or breakfast one morning with one of my former employees now. Her mom and dad both work for DES. And her dad was in the water division, and her mom was in the air division. I was asking what he did, and he was talking about um, reports that have to be filed. And I said, oh, you know, it's funny. I said, we just found out that um, it was under the old MS4 permitting, not the new system, that, um, oh, yeah, we never even knew that we had to file this. And, and um, the same report just seemed to have been filed every single year with no changes, and we don't even know if the work was really done or not. And he goes, oh, you're from Rollinsburg. <laughs> That's more well, on the radar. Uh, yeah, he didn't know that. He said, yeah, I know exactly who was signing them, and we knew we didn't have the staff to follow up to say it, could, but we knew they were being fudged and that the work really wasn't getting done. So there, we don't have that luxury anymore. It was a new permit, and I don't feel like getting fined. So we need to start being realistic in the way we, we staff the administrative support in this town. So why don't we table this for now until we can, um, and when we come back on the 18th, maybe we can be ready to make a... Um, a more formal decision while, while working through the budget. Town Hall Maintenance, the portico, which does not appear to be able to be done this year, um, it's not going to work within the budget because of the, um, the, the air conditioning. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest we take it off um, as a standing <laughs> item and put it under a request for next year's budget, and hopefully we can get it done. It's a shame that's not going to be able to get done, but I didn't realize that we hadn't been maintaining the generator and uh, that there were some real deficiencies with the air conditioning unit, so we will have to put that on hold, unfortunately. Um, I've kept the request of the water and sewer district on here as a placeholder. I have a working through the budget. I think that's important. Yep. In the timeline, um, I keep jumping on you, Denise, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. but coordinating with um, with the budget committee to make sure that the timeline matches. Okay. Okay. Just make you were gonna reach out to, to, John. to John, right, to make sure that he had um, more than just uh, what was it November? Mm -hmm. September, November he might need to push that up a little bit. Okay. Uh, select board appointments to departments. What is that? I don't know. I didn't I didn't ask for it to be on. I don't know. Did you ask for it to be put on the agenda? No, no. You didn't ask for it to be put on the agenda? I didn't ask for it to be put on the agenda, so. We don't have any appointments to departments. Well, Caroline had mentioned that you, you had thought that having a liaison to each Oh, department. is that what that is? Is that, is that, well, that, that, didn't is that what this is? I mean, I'm wondering if that's what oh, this is. Oh, I bet you that, that is. Okay. So I shouldn't say so appointments, it's just liaisons, right? So one of the liaisons, things right? that, if that's what this is, and yeah, I wasn't, sorry, I wasn't thinking about that. Um, one of the things I think might be helpful is if um, there's three of us in three full-time departments that a select board member is appointed to each to a department, so they have one point of contact, and that maybe we can bring those things, some things, or to the group, and just have you know just kind of keep in touch and make sure everything's going okay, and you know I just think that it would be good with the departments to know that we're we're here for them. And, you know, so, I was saying how a police and fire is the ones I was thinking of needed to have, like, one of us appointed to each one of them. I know they did this. I was just going to say, at one time there used to be department head meetings. Uh, well, well.
Well, and that's another thing is, and you know, and having department head meetings with the board of selectmen as well, versus you know, to talk about things. It also helps to have communication with the department heads, with the selectmen, to hear other things that they might be thinking about all along and not talking to. Police might know something and not talking to fire. It's an opportunity to have them, and I'm not saying we have to have them often, but maybe maybe quarterly. Um, but I, I think also just having that liaison, a, a, a single point of contact to talk to somebody, not making decisions, not voting, not giving permissions that wasn't part of, you know, that still has to go to the entire board. I just think, I know that they did it, oh God, it's probably like 10 plus years ago, they used to have that. And, you know, which is just popping in and see if everything's going okay. And, and I don't know, what do you think? I don't think that's a bad idea. I um, so so like you said, I think we need to be careful not to make promises or nope, so. You can't make promises. Um, no. Nope, but you know, nope. you're just we're, a hearing we're just there to hear yeah, and yeah. Um, communicate. Yeah, and then you can bring something forward if they can't come some particular night, and I say, can you bring this up for me, and this is why, and then we can do it. But I'm not saying vote. Uh, or give yeah. them a permission on something, it still has to go through the board of selection. I just think that if you assign a person to a department, then they can be your hearing. Doesn't mean they can't talk to you or you or you know whoever. I just think it kind of just puts connections with the select board versus the departments. Okay, you're okay with that? Sure. Okay. How sure. do you feel about that? I don't have a problem with it. I don't. As long as everyone recognizes that we don't make decisions outside of meetings, Absolutely. that we we only can act as a board, not as a, as individuals. As long as we're all clear about that, I'm fine by me. I still think we should probably bring back department head meetings. So I agree as well. Yeah. So I will talk with uh, the department head and see what the best time of day is mm -hmm. to meet with them, and I will meet with them. So we can bring back. So those meetings meet well. take place outside of. Usually us. they. It used to happen once a month, I believe. Okay. So at least quarterly. I think it was once a month. So in the morning, typically. But so and we'll reach out to them, see if they still see value in doing bringing that back or not. Mm -hmm. um, maybe they'd like this other um, arrangement instead, or or mm -hmm. both. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'll I'll ask them what they think. Um, but I certainly don't have a problem with that. I think that. Um, Fostering lines of communications between the departments and the select board is, is a, a smart thing to do. Mm -hmm. It's important. Um, okay, so let me um, let me reach out to the department heads and see what they think. Mm -hmm. If they think it would be beneficial to do what you you suggested, Denise, mm -hmm. or they think just having to have department head meetings again, or is it important to do both together? Okay. Yeah, all right, I'll well, ask them, and then okay. we can report back at our next regular scheduled meeting. Uh, letter C, Junkyard Public Hearing Day. So we've had a complaint relative to the, to the junkyard, and we are going to have a public hearing to deal with that complaint um, and to discuss um, the license renewal with the junkyard operator on um, November 5th. Right. Yes, at 6 p.m. So we'll, we'll notice that and we'll make sure we notice, put out notice to the abutters so they can be in attendance.
newsletter. Tell me. Yes. Do you have an update or question well, or info on the newsletter? We're going to have to get it done in a few weeks. Yes. But I'm thinking of, with all the changes that I'd like to see part or a good portion of it just be on the SB2 changes for the town. Mm -hmm. And keep the calendar parts, right. but not have the other little tidbits okay. in it. We'll put out like the, 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 uh, the description of the, of the process and like important yeah. dates, that sort of thing. Yeah. Well, I mean, people are, are used to one system, so just to explain, uh, this is uh, yeah. Then it's going to be this meeting will replace this meeting, and people so people understand mm -hmm. that it's important to go to this one versus you know, not showing up. So. Okay. Um, Can we use this opportunity to communicate the the, the town administrator as well? Is that, should that be? I'd like to do that. So we've got, I have this thing that I've been working on, just talking about yeah. what the um, what the uh, differences are between um, between the two. And it gives a, a synopsis of, um, of uh, the hearing we had and what can be the next steps for the town, if there should be next steps. So we certainly had that on there. I mean, I don't know if this might, I don't know if this is too lengthy to go on. I don't know. It doesn't look it. How many... Um, well, we, plus you, you both need to read it again and make sure that mm -hmm. all of this is needed. Maybe it's not. I don't know. So, how many um, how many pages is the um, the newsletter? Is, is it is double sided? Right? Double sided. Legal, legal side, right? Legal side. Right. 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 So you can do SB two on one and you can do two, two columns. Yeah. The other. Yeah. I think so. Two okay. two columns. Probably the two columns. biggest things. That are going to happen. I know it's such a critical time yeah. or a turning point or something that I think people need to be Be aware. informed mm -hmm. and engaged. Okay, mm -hmm. one way or another. Okay, all right. So you're working on the. Um... Well, I have to get started, don't I? I yeah. <laughs> okay. So Miles, in the past, Sammy has been sort of the keeper of the newsletter for us. Okay. As long as you're okay with that, and she's still willing. And she's still willing. Denise is still willing. Okay, I'm still willing. Okay, so we'd like you to work on that then. So I will, as soon as uh, we work on um, and approve the final draft of this, um, we'll let you know so we can incorporate that. Yeah. I mean, feel free to send me edits or whatever okay. separately if, if you have them, then we can come back together and discuss them in a meeting. Okay. All right. Anything else on the newsletter? Yeah. Maybe you'd like to uh, share that with me as well. As soon as it's ready. Yeah, we will. Okay. Yeah, we will. Okay. Um, anything else on the newsletter? Okay. No. Budget committee alternate. Yes. No. There isn't one assigned. Okay. So we have to assign an alternate. Okay. I'm happy to do it if you want me to. Do it if you want to. I'm not going to say yes. You have to do it. <laughs> I think you should. Okay. okay. So I make a motion, motion that we uh, appoint Mike Rolo as a budget committee alternate. Second them. Any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. All right. I'm, I'm going to by John. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Recreation budget update. Okay. I need to know when you want me to present the rec budget. On. What's the date that Mark said? 18th. No, it's the 15th. I mean, Mark is off. Mark comes in on the 18th. He's coming in on Thursday. So I think he met the 15th. So. Okay, the 15th of yeah. Yeah. Of November. Yeah, oh, this so, one. So it'll be fire. I mean, and I uh, and rec. And I, I don't think I looked at um uh, at um cemetery. I don't think we need to ask. There's no real change. I don't think we need to ask Mark to come in unless you want him no, to. No, there's no change. Okay. Yeah. So we have our right budget done, so we'll go ahead. That one's, a pretty, that one's a pretty easy one, too. Okay. Okay. No. And, oh, and I've asked the, the town clerk to come in, too, on the 15th to explain um, her uh, proposed changes. Okay. So 
When is recreation coming? The 15th. 15th of October. October. Oh, October. Okay. And just as a reminder, we have a budget workshop that's been noticed on the 8th. That's from 6 to 8. That's next Monday. Mm -hmm. And we have one on the 13th at 9 a.m. to noon to Saturday and the 20th from 9 a.m. to noon. That day. No, we will take it up again on Monday, the 22nd, but we won't post that just yet if we don't have to. All right, uh, recreation snack refunds? Uh, still in the process. Okay. Are they, are they actually actively working on it, do you know? I or? believe they are. Okay. Um, I will try to get an update from Dean. Okay, so we need to, um, yep. the auditor needs to know um, how that's progressing. Mm -hmm. Or we'll want to know. Um, GSRPC request for transportation planning project. I, I wanted to keep this on as a placeholder. Um, it works with, um, we can go back up if you don't mind. We'll skip back up to um, the highway under Department of Head Business. The DOT student project. Mm -hmm. Did you all have a chance to, to look at that email from a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago? Um, I did. Okay. Uh, how are, are folks comfortable with having the students use this? And, uh, That's a great idea. I mean, it doesn't cost us anything. It doesn't. Um, it will cost, um, I don't know how much staff time I'm talking to George and yeah. Caroline and us. That wasn't his staff time for us. but So they may want to come to a select board meeting to discuss what our thoughts on the project, mm -hmm. what we'd like to see happen in that intersection, if anything, and then um, they will go from there to design it. Come okay. with their proposal, rather, for us as part of their capstone project for their engineering degree. All right, well, I will let Mr. Uh, Lambert at DOT know that we're good with that. All righty, board member activities. What do we have going on this week, Denise? <laughs> everything that you've already, just, you've already agreed to, uh, besides everything you've agreed yeah. to already on the agenda, any meetings? I don't think I have any. I'm, well, working with Caroline, it's either going to be yeah. Thursday, uh, Friday morning or Friday afternoon to try to finish up the budget part of it. The update? That's all I have. Planning board? Um, tomorrow evening, mm -hmm. where we will elect a, a new chair. Mm -hmm. that's, that's it. That's it. That's it. Well, that's enough. And you're working on um, revised, um, working on, on the agenda for revisions to the zoning yes. ordinances? Yes. Yeah, start working out public hearings and all that. Yeah. Perfect. And what are you doing? What am I doing? Mm -hmm. I'm going to reach out to the department heads and coordinate. Uh, let's, see, let's go back to the agenda. What am I going to do? I am going to come in tomorrow and debrief with Caroline Night. tomorrow morning Night. to explain all that happened at the meeting tonight. Uh, things that are assigned to her, then things that are assigned to individual members. I am going to reach out to Tom Clark to talk about the junkyard public hearing. I'm going to reach out to the department heads to talk about rearranging or reorganizing department head meetings and your suggestion. I'm going to let's go back there. Let's see what else I'm going to do tomorrow. That's just tomorrow. I made notes. Let's see. I'll read my own notes. I'm going to work on looking at the budget again and see um, look at highway and think about that. And transfer station. Got to reach out to Lamper Regional Plan, uh, Regional Cooperative to talk about garbage. Uh, and when that hearing is going to be, or that date meeting, that date is going to be. Meeting date is going to be. Pardon me. And I'm going to look forward to your edits to this and work on another revised statement on um, options for the town, or manager or admin or not. That's not going to work. And anything else that comes up during the week that I get a call to come into town hall for. So, building permits. Okay. What are we doing? Just getting the, the, the number and the amount? Is that what we're doing? And the address. And so. the address? Okay. Building permit number 2018 093, 31 Toll Road, for shingles on the garage roof. $65. Okay, that's been re reviewed by Mr. Clark. Yes, it is. All right. 
So what I would suggest is for expiration date. That's a dog. This is you now. That's, that's wonderful. So I would suggest that you write in. Um, we usually give them a. Well, well, depends on the project. I would do six thirty nineteen. And and uh, yeah yeah and make sure you mark off whether we granted it or not. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you just sign it and then one of the lines there. I'll sign it. Miles will sign it. Next one is building permit 2018-092, 235 Climate Road, uh, replace gutters. Approved by Tom Clark, fee is $55. Yeah, it's been reviewed by Tom. I just wanted to. Okay, no, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. As long as they've been reviewed and, and, and signed off on by uh, right, Tom, Mr. Then Clark, then I would suggest okay. that we do that because we're paying. And for six months on that one, too? Yeah. public to discuss it and we'll make a determination in public. Okay. Um, so is there anything else in the folder? That's it. Uh, Miles, why don't you go through your folder and then we'll do this. Alright. So it's this one. Just hold up on it. No. Oh, you're, it's the other folder. This one. That one. Yeah. The much thicker one. <laughs> so those are the ones we did already tonight. I'll get it. Uh, please fill out details. Read number of chairs, other rooms, number of tables, contact person, signature for deliberative session. Oh. Um, so this is a building use form. Um, for the school. So we can hold the deliberative session. Are we going there? Are we going? Yeah, I think so, right? Okay. Now we're having it. How many chairs? Activities will require chairs. Specify the numbers. How many did we put up yeah, last time? Normally, two hundred and fifty. Well, we've never had an SB two. Well, right. but for town meeting, what do we put up? Uh, probably one hundred and fifty chairs, I would assume. Yeah, a lot of controversy stuff. Two hundred chairs it is. Do they have two hundred chairs now? Mm-hmm. Two hundred chairs it is. Area requested. Gymnasium. District use only. Well, then, okay, let's see. Uh, um, sure. We have a request for disbursement from Caroline Kendall uh, for $1,500 to Cornerstone VA for the annual, annual contribution, uh, which is budgeted. Do we need a motion? So, that time of year again to disburse the um, funds to uh, charitable organizations that we do. We can, um, we don't have to do it tonight. We can either hold off on them or we can just put them in the I know that we were.
were you weren't part of the conversation yet, Miles, because you weren't here yet. But we were pretty adamant that we didn't want to take. We, we, we had we had promised these funds to these nonprofits that they provide services to people in the hospital that we were we wanted to pay because we, they, they were depending on us. And um, they do they support our residents oh yeah, in right. many fashions. So. Right. So what I was going to say, we could either hold off until the very last of the year, or we can do it tonight, or we can wait another couple of weeks, we can do whatever we want. Um, but I think you and I were pretty I think steadfast in yeah. wanting to disperse these funds and then not use it for other things. So mm -hmm. this is budgeted money, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so what do we have? Cornerstone, VNA. So the visiting nurses, and who else is there? Homemakers to Stratford County, $1,000. Yeah. yeah. Seeds of Faith, one thousand dollars. Yeah. Community Action Partnership, fifteen hundred dollars. Okay. So we have the disbursement. Is there any objection to disbursing the funds? We don't have to have a vote because we, we usually do it by. We can do it by order if you want. Well, let's do a vote. We need to do that way. You want to make a motion? I'll make a motion that we disburse fifteen hundred dollars that's been budgeted for Cornerstone VNA annual contribution. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's the best way, the best process. But let's just do it. Yep. We can do this one if you I want. I will move that we uh, disperse one thousand dollars to seeds of faith for the annual contribution food pantry. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Okay. I'll make a motion that we disperse one thousand dollars budgeted in the amount to homemakers of Stratford County. What does that say? Annual? Annual. Contribution. Thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I just want to make people aware that the homemakers is no longer, um, they've been absorbed by Easter Seals. Um, oh. Not, yeah, not that they're not worthy of a donation, mm -hmm. I just... So they're not a standalone organization anymore? Correct. Mm -hmm. So the request we received then from them earlier in the year, so when did this happen? Late spring. So right this year then. Yeah, so yeah. It would have been at, the request would have come in then from alright, so Well I'll revoke my and, and let's look into it. Okay, all right. Uh, I um I, I think the homemakers do great work. I served on their board for many, many mm -hmm. years. Um I just think we should have all of the information. Yeah. Or well especially if we're gonna make a donation or, or to, to this organization that's still helping people in our county, our community. Yep. You're sent to the right person, too. The right entity, right? Let so, me put a note on right? for Caroline. So, and you're saying it's Easter Seals? Yep, they've been absorbed by Easter Seals. Easter Seals? Okay. I'll follow this one to do it. Okay. So I will move that we disperse $1,500 to Community Action Partnership for the annual donation. for our generous contribution of $100. Mm -hmm. um, signed by Mr. John Joyle. So did we already do it? Or they we did it a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. It's our annual due of $100. Mm -hmm. Now we can thank JJ and put that in the house. I just put a file across it. So right, okay. right on it? Yeah. yeah. Right on it. yeah. Okay. And next we have one purchase order. Um, with many attachments. Purchase order 1521 to um, Mark Kutcher for $1,110.74 and he was 
lots of line items for gravel and Trash bags, staples, jump drive, book of stamps. Um, I'm not sure this. Okay. Uh, King Arch medals. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know what. Uh, it looks like all of the invoices are attached. Was it being paid to? To Mark. To so reimbursement. Reimbursement. So he paid all of that up front? Yeah. So. so so there's fifteen different things here. Um, for different metals like for, for welding and things to, to for fence repair. So okay. So you bought um, gravel. Uh, for the to repair the lanes in the cemeteries uh, three times. Um, he's bought uh, assorted metals to um, repair um, to refabricate on um, different fencing over the cemetery. Um, he paid the annual dues to uh, the New Hampshire Cemetery Association. Um, and then for monument repairs, he bought us masonry supplies, um, and then um, garbage bags, ant spray, and then yeah, the, the must have needed a jump drive for the, his computer, and um, or the cemetery trustee's computer, not his, but, and some stamps. So for a grand total of $1,110.74, which would come out of their budget. So does he get reimbursed and then deposit into the cemetery fund? He, he, so he's got receipts there for checks and credit cards and all that. He paid out of pocket for um, for all of these things. It's not the best way to do things. We probably should have a conversation with him that it easier. It would be better if he like if he went to Pike and bought all this, bought the gravel for the to repair the roads, the lane, you know, the lanes and the yeah. cemeteries. Um, he got to the same places that. Like George would go get the yeah, stuff, yeah. so we, George probably could have gotten it for him, and then wouldn't be any delivery fees and stuff like that, right? Um, so we should work with him on that. I mean, I just don't think he should be out that kind of. Well, that I don't either, or, right? You know, so I don't think it's fair. That's what my, that's my my larger point. It's not that I don't trust Mark. It's that it's not fair to him to have to do this. Um, so he can't write out of the cemetery trust account. No, he can't. Okay. He has to have. Um, Permission from the select board, um, but he's come with purchase orders before, like so with the set with the. Um, but it was made out to like green, green shadow, shadow whatever, lots, right, so it's directly right. to them. This, right. I mean, I you can it's, it's, well, no, I believe you move it. You moved it. You want a second? I'll second we should it, do yeah. that so we can actually really discuss it. Yeah. Sure Sorry so, about that. So, but all the documentation is in there. So, but you really shouldn't be I, I doing it that way yeah. because he's out of pocket, you know, out of eleven hundred dollars. So. Yeah. Which is not fair. No, I don't think so. Yeah. So it's been moved and seconded. Is there any other discussion? I will I will have a conversation with him about how that type of things I'm gonna work on this week. Um, about um, maybe efficiencies and some ordering and things like that. Um, if working through um, George for a number of these things because we may get like gravel and things, we might actually get better rates right. from 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 Pike, you know, because of the large quantities he buys. Or George is already buying some, he can, you know, just to, just to work with them. I mean, there are separate elected boards, so I don't want to step on their toes. But yeah, but also that he could have them bill it to the town. Yeah. And not pay it out of pocket. Yeah, pocket, They're right? Just... Yeah. No, exactly. That's a lot of money. I agree. I will do that. Okay, all those in favor of purchase order 1521, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Okay, Mr. Kutcher, for that. I'll pass over to you some. There's a lot on there, so. I'm calling it supplies. It's assorted cemetery supplies. supplies. I mean, that's all it is, yeah. I mean, it's just.
But again, he's in. He's out eleven hundred dollars out of pocket, which is not fair. So. And it's probably not the best way to do the accounting yeah, anyway. So. And the rest of the uh, lastly, a letter from Squamska Winery LLC. Uh, dear Select Board, we have been approved by Seacoast Eat Local to participate in the winter farmers markets to be held in Rollins for November 17th, December 1st, December 15th. He's got the okay. Uh, January 26th, February 23rd. March 23rd, per New Hampshire RSA 541-A39, we are required to have a letter from form the town allowing us to sell wine and have wine tasting. Our New Hampshire license number is 567030. A copy is attached. I don't see it, but I don't I trust it. it out. Um, sincerely, Bill Meserve and Bob Elliott. Um, we need a signature. Do we have any uh, objection to them? The Squam's got winery selling at the... We did this for um, throwback brewery. Uh, who else does it? As long as it doesn't the put any responsibilities on the town no, or Olive Garden, if they give to a minor? It's on their license. Okay. That's all I would think. We just have to give them permission to sell within our house. jurisdiction. And that's it. It's, it's a temporary. greenhouse, right? Yeah. yeah. It's only temporary just for those days. days you know? yeah. They're not allowed to sell within the town any other day, so no objection. Okie dokie. So why don't they well I'll just accept this as our request? So you, you've authorized me to sign it, though. Mm -hmm. so I'll just put that. We have a template letter we use for other um, merchants. So. Okay. okay. Um, and that's it. There's, there's still this flyer in here from last week. Why did that flyer? The, uh, the school safety preparedness. Oh, yeah. We were, we were going to... Uh, yeah. Did, was uh, the chief cc on it, I think? Well, that's right. We're going to see if, if he wanted it. Or if yeah. He wanted it. Okay. Alrighty. Anything else on the agenda? That, well, we need to go into non-public to deal with... Um, um, you want to take uh, community and... Uh, yeah, we're going to say for an elderly exemption. So my intention is to deal with the elderly exemption and non-public, come back out and act in it, on it in public session. Folks are more than welcome to wait around. But in the meantime, we'll take community input. We'll, we'll adjourn right after that. We're not going to hang out. Okay then, I need a motion to go to non-public to deal with um, is an exemption, an elderly exemption? Yep. Okay. To discuss an elderly exemption. I'll move with it into non public. Oh, you want to I just want you to know that I did forward the calendar for the budget committee to Caroline. I don't know okay. if she sent it to you or not. She has to always say it. Oh. I don't, I don't, I don't, I, Nancy, I need to go look and see it through the email. I got so many today from her going back and forth. Thank you for doing that. I did it okay. that Saturday. I did it that day. I sent it to her. I don't, I had just sent it to Caroline because that was the only one that was in my phone to email to at okay. the time. I'll, um,